Hello! Hi guys, today what we are going to do is we're going to go over how to complete the teacher graded assignment 2.06. So if you did not come to class and you do not see how to do that, we're going to quickly go over how to do that, okay? So come on with me. Uh, we're on the home page of computer literacy and you can go to content. We are quickly going to go there and uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> And I am viewing as a student, and so we know that it is right here, 2.06 graded assignment. We're going to click on there. I hear my birds back there. Ooh. And you are going to click on to graded assignment, and it gets you right there. See, right there. You are not going to be uploading a thing, so don't worry about uploading anything, okay? If you already have, don't worry. I've probably already graded it. You probably already got 100, so don't worry about it, okay? All right, so the first thing you're going to do with this, I think this is cute. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is we're talking about the Boolean operators. And you can use those in Google, all right? So they are your, they're going to be your best brands, all right? So the uh, first PGA you're going to search is using Google and the Boolean operators. And so this is going to be centered around Halloween since we're close to October 31st right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to, first thing you're going to do is put your last name. So I'm just actually going to use my sister's. Well, I'm going to use my last name because I don't want um, Mr. Hall to see this and go, oh, wait a minute. And my first name is Kelly. And then computer literacy teacher, Miss Krista Dulu, right? And then the instructions. Now, you will be able to do this if you read the lesson. And just FYI, I can pull up and see who clicked on to what lesson, how long they were in the lesson, and all of that. So please, please, please do not send me something and go, I I read it. I didn't know. No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. I can tell if you did or didn't. So please, please make sure you read the lessons. Okay. All right. So that is the beauty of the computers. Okay. So since our topic is going to be Halloween and we're going to use the Boolean operators, I know that Jeff is getting really old. I know. Not for me. If you came to class and if you did not watch class. You can because the recording is now available. So make sure you watch the recording of class before you come on here trying to do this. Okay. All right. So you are going to use the Boolean operators and or and not in your Halloween related searches. Okay. So what we're going to do is pause this if you've not watched class. This is where you take a pause. If you didn't watch class and then go watch the class recording for this week and then come all back. OK, because I don't want to waste people's time. Now we're back. OK, now here's the rubric. Click on to the rubric. And what is a rubric? A rubric tells you how you can get 100 because we don't want 70s. We don't want 80s. We don't want 90s. We want hundreds. And so you're trying to get to the high three points. OK, we don't want average. We want above average. So here it is. So you want to make sure you do everything in this row, right? Everything in this row. Okay, here we go. Because I know you can do it. Okay, so then you're going to do this three times. And then you're going to evaluate at the end. Evaluate is a final word for saying we want to know if you know how to do it. That's all. That's just some a word that makes it makes it, people want to sound like they kind of know a little bit more than they know want to sound kind of smart one of those big words you know that your teachers say evaluate just tell us if you know it or not okay here we go so what is a boolean boolean searches make it easy to find what you're looking for in a google search so the three basic Boolean search commands, and, or, and, or. 
and not in or. They're supported in Google, right? So here we go. We talked about this in class. The Boolean operators, ghost, not in. Oh my gosh, you, you just got to go watch class because I thought I was a hoot. I did. <laughs> no, I really did it. Well, I did. <laughs> All right. And so then we went over this in class. And so here we go. Part one, we are going to use the Boolean operator and. Okay. So number one, pick two Halloween related words and search for them using and in Google search. All right. So that's what we're going to do first. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find, think of two related Halloween words. So we're going to open up a new tab. Okay. And we're going to think of two Halloween related words. Actually, let's go back real quick because I don't want to, I'm, I'm not really ready. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where was I? Over here. Okay, hold on. Let's go back and do right here. So I'm going to do which, which, and let's see what, which and broom. Ooh, which and broom, which and broom. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and I right clicked, I highlighted, and then I right clicked, copy. Okay. And then I'm going to go over to my tab and paste, or you can do control V and then hit enter. <gasps> Why do witches ride brooms? Okay, okay. Fortnite, which broom location? Okay, so there I have a nice little search going on. Okay. And then, so what you're going to do, what, what is one of the topic sites that Google found with your search? So example, you're going to put the topic site. So now what I'm going to do is go back over here. And here's my topic site, one of them. You don't have to pick the top one, but you can pick one of them. So I might want to pick the Forbes one. And if I right click, it says copy link address. So I'm going to click it, go back over here, and I'm going to paste. Whoa, that's a big link, isn't it? You know what? I would not like to do that link, but that's fine. You can do that link if you want. I get it. Okay, so now. Uh, number two, we're going to do the exact same thing. Jobs or gates, same thing. You're going to do the exact same thing, but it's going to, instead of and, it's going to be uh, a Halloween related search. So I would do, you could do the same one. You could do witch or brooms, witch or brooms. Okay. And then you're going to search witch or brooms which or brooms, okay? And then you're gonna put, do the exact same thing here. And then you're gonna do number three, which not brooms, okay? And then you're gonna put the, the uh, link there. So at the end, you're gonna put your final thoughts. So what were your final thoughts? And you're gonna use three sentences. What were your final thoughts? And you're gonna use three sentences, like I just said, so. Uh, I believe the Boolean graders were maybe helpful. And then on, you know, whatever you thought they were, maybe you didn't think they were helpful. I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, you're going to tell me. And so then you're going to hit this submit button, submit, and that's all you're going to do for the TGA. And that's it. That's it. Bye-bye.